Hello, this is uh, day five. This is 5th of December. And I decided to do something unrelated to numbs this time. And, but I did. I don't know whether you can see. I, I did some swanky new green screening. Orange screening. <laughs> I, it, it, it gets better. I, I've done a couple of them now. I, this one's a bit rubbish. But they do get a little bit better. Anyway. Yeah, it's Commander. This one. It's Commander looking up at a moon. It's a small potato moon. And I just love the way the potato moons look. They look so kind of more immediate more real because the, just that reach out and touchability about them there's there's a couple in soul system that you can uh, jump on they've got almost no gravity at all they're fantastic i think oh i can't remember it's not maki maki is it oh one of those anyway they're really good to visit in soul system though they are they're very far away from the star so you don't really get the beauty of the the varying textures on that surface the way that you do in this system this is a, a close binary so uh but they're, they're both a bit lumpy these planets were well, and they're very close to each other so it really feels like you, you could almost jump onto that little moon there i i enjoy doing rocky surfaces uh, and all the ochreous colours in them because, well, for starters, there's an awfully good range of colours that you can get from chalk that are that colour and they're actually made from those, those minerals that look that colour. This video is not showing the navy blue paper I used really very well, unfortunately. It's a lot more... Um, it's a lot more blue than it it is here and the colours are a lot more yellowy. Uh, I just thought I'd mention that because it's not obvious from the way that the video looks but yeah I like the surface of, of planets because it, it, they lend themselves to chalk drawings really well and you can you can vary the textures that you put down like you can do that like the little the tiny little uh, smudgy bit you can smudge a whole kilometer with one fingertip or you can do a sharp lip of a crevasse and, and then the, the shadow next to it really it can be quite punchy the nature of the shadow rendering in games means that even though this was quite dark on that left hand side they would bunged in a bit of light just so that you could see it which I, in this particular case i thought it worked quite well anyway i, I think i've done that to be honest uh, I, thanks for watching i will i'll see you tomorrow